Okay, the project aim of my wikis um, was uh, kind of conceived through my PTC THE course um, when I started at Bristol University in, way back in 2007. Um, so I started the PTC THE in 2008 and bombarded with lots of new uh, softwares and, and e-learning tools that I hadn't really previously been aware of. Um, I came across the wiki um, kind of plug-in to Blackboard and was aware of what wikis were at the time and um, but I, ha I wasn't aware of how they were used in um, kind of as a teaching aid or, or to supplement teaching. So I came across um, a few American websites that had used wikis to develop um, kind of community learning amongst the students and also as a communication tool um, or a feedback tool as well with the instructors on the courses and what I found interesting was how the students were engaging with it um, in terms of um, kind of collaborating in their groups but also with the tutor um, and also the amount of reading that they were doing and it's a common I guess criticism of students um, in the earlier years of their degree that they don't engage enough with their, with their reading materials and, and journals. Um, so what I, I decided to do is see if I could kind of uh, mimic that community learning feel whilst also getting them to engage a bit more with their, their reading, um, with, the, with the journals that I was setting. So that's really the start of it and I kind of went from there to build up a wiki uh, course. The module that I used the wikis for um, was my social psychology module um, and that was a second year module. Um, it started with ooh, 10 students um, and now there are um, over 80 uh, this year. So the way that I implemented wikis into my course um, was really built upon kind of emulating the American websites that I had saw, the, sorry, the university websites that I had seen, um, and also embedded a, a past experience of mine, um, part of the PGC THE asked you to think about uh, something that stood out to you in the past um, in, as, as you were a student. And one of the um, experiences I had as a, as a, as a student was um, my tutor handing me a book that he created with a ton of keywords in it. And the goal of that uh, book was to get you to find the context surrounding those words. So you were rebuilding a glossary, basically. And what I did before I engaged with the wikis as a, as a, a formative assessment um, was just to see how the students would use it straight away. So I, um, the actual assessment part of the wikis didn't begin until 2009. Um, so I used the 2008 um, session as, as a as a trial basically, a pilot, um, and I got them to use the wiki to build a, a social psychology glossary um, and that was the basis of it. Um, in terms of how it worked out, some students engaged, some students didn't, um, and I asked them why those that didn't engage, um, I asked them why they didn't and they said, well it's not part of assessment so there was no need to do it. So I think I failed in the first, uh, the first hurdle there in getting that collaborative community, but there were students in, engaged with it as well. So I had to rethink how I was going to um, embed it into, into the course so that the students were engaging with it more meaningfully. So by 2009 academic session, I changed the wiki based on those non-engaging students um, by giving them credit for engaging with the wikis. Um, in order to achieve the reading engagement uh, kind of ethos behind the, the, the wiki um, idea was to get them to present a paper a week um, uh, as a group so they would form reading groups um, and their goal was to find a paper that interested them as a reading group and then present that paper on the wiki uh, on their own wiki page, sorry, um, as something um, that was easy to read, um, accessible to other students um, in terms of the, the, the language, but also describe how that paper was useful in applying psychology in the real world. So I was attempting to get them to think critically about the paper as well and 
um, try and make the, interest, uh, the subject a little bit more interesting in terms of how it, it applies to the real world. So that was a, a weekly task that they had to achieve um, in order to gain a, a total assessment mark um, or end a summative assessment mark really um, for the wiki. So it changed from formative to a, a summative assessment. I decided to stick to a summative assessment because the formative assessment um, was becoming time consuming or, or I perceived it to be time consuming. Um, the main reason for that was I hadn't um, provision I hadn't set a strict uh, word count. I left it uh, between 500 and 1,000 words because the papers that they were reading varied quite considerably. I wanted to um, give uh, kind of vague boundaries in that in a word count sense to allow them to develop or write concisely as well. Um, but allow that these papers do uh, allow for room that these papers do actually differ quite a lot. Um, the other reason that I chose to move to summative and, and not engage on a weekly basis was because um, I wanted the groups to be kind of an organic um, kind of feel to them, so that they were uh, peer learning really and, and feeding off each other's ideas and correcting each other's uh, work. And I felt that if I w was intervening, that they would just do as I say rather than think about um, whether, how they could improve it as a group as well. So um, the kind of idea behind that was just to get them critically engaging with their work rather than um, taking what I say as, as um, the right way to go forward. Okay, so I think the main things that I learned from engaging with this wiki tool uh, through the uh, Blackboard learning environment was um, kind of planning and preparation. Um, I didn't start off so well with the planning and preparation um, and it, it, it is time consuming if you are kind of just throwing any tool um, or e-learning tool at the students and kind of hoping that they engage with it. Finding a way to get them engaged with the, with the tool, um, in my instance, uh, or my example, it was through making it an assessment um, and getting them to form reading groups as well, which was um, uh, one way that I got them to, to, to have to do it, really. Um, but I think the planning and preparation was the most important thing, and, and, and piloting it as well. Um, so I think maybe the slow and steady approach in this sense was better for me because, because I was learning uh, the, the ropes, as it were, um, as a lecturer, a new lecturer. Um, so time constraints also um, meant that I couldn't really dedicate as much um, planning and preparation as I had liked. Um, so in this instance, I think maybe finding good practice across the university would be my, my main advice to anybody considering e-learning e uh, tools or plugins for their virtual learning environment, um, just to see how they have done it um, in other departments and maybe adapt it um, to their needs um, because it might be a, a quicker way to, to learn uh, from other people's mistakes rather than um, create your own, I guess, in that sense. Um, and it's a, it's, a, a learn, it's a constant learning curve, so um, be prepared to um, keep engaging with this material and the e-tools e available because um, there's always changes to them and, and new ways of doing things um, or actually even reinventing uh, the way that we use the current tools as well.